the action here is intense at 50 London. The button is in front of Eric Seidel. Gus Hansen in the big blind. Phil Ivey's first to act. We're going to kick this game up out, right out the mud here. Phil lays it down. Mark Goodwin looks like he's called. Pass. Yeah, Mark's in with his queen, king of diamonds. Pass. Pass. Eric calls for 600 on the button with his uh, 10 jack. It's a hand, good hand on the button. And he makes Great. up the big blind with his nine jack, Roland. That leaves just Gus Hansen. Oh, and Gus Hansen's picked up a couple of ladies here. Now, how do you play this in the big blind? Well, he probably doesn't want to leave too many people in this pot. He's going to be out of position against anyone but Roland DeWolf, so I'd expect quite a decent size bet. And he does that. Now, a lot of ways to play pocket queens here. Perfect. You can definitely slow play him and kind of disguise your holding in a cash game or play him strong like Gus Hansen has. Well, that's a raise of 5,000. That's playing them strong. Clearly, Gus Hansen does not want to see a flop here. He certainly doesn't want to see a flop four-handed. Well, that's a call there from uh, Mark Goodwin. And he's in pretty bad shape. He does not want to see a queen-high flop. Now, if the case queen were to come out, Goodwin would be in trouble. Ooh, one over card to Gus's queens, and it's the one he did not want to see. It's a king. Now, obviously, Goodwin way ahead, and we can see that, but he's obviously got to be scared of Ace King. Well, that's a big bet from Gus. If Mark Flat calls this. Which he has. There's a chance Gus might think he's still in good shape. It, it wouldn't be unheard of for uh, Mark to call, we say, pocket nines or tens in this spot. One over card. Thanks for mentioning. Pot is now $33,000. The great Dane way behind. He's going to need one of the. He's going to need the king he goes, call. check, check. That's the card that. Uh, Neither player would like to see. Well, actually, Goodwin's actually backed into a flush now. Oh, yes, he's coming to a backdoor diamond flush. He took his free card on the turn. 15,000. Not much Hansen can beat out there. He can't beat the king, he can't beat an ace, can't beat a three, and he can't beat the diamonds. The point is, what he, probably going through his mind here is what could Mark have called with on the flop that he can bet on the river? <laughs> Ace King is about the only hand, really. Well, he could also remember he could have had busted heart draw. He could exactly. have called him with a heart draw, missed it, and now he has to fire at it. Maybe that's, that's what Gus that's is what's thinking. going through Gus's mind. Like the worst call ever. I'm absolutely certain you'll make worse. So am I. <laughs> exactly. There's no doubt. I really think that Gus just can't believe there's a hand that he can bet here that he's called on the flop with. Is he slow playing aces? It's going to be very easy for him to give a middle pair and call this back.
You see, you see him shaking his head in disbelief because he can't really figure it out. Obviously, always hard to see those backdoor diamonds. Pot is forty-eight thousand dollars. He's decided to call. I think he's given uh, Mark a medium pair or a busted heart flush draw. That's the one hand he probably hasn't thought about. And that is a very good pop for Mark Goodwin. Wow, great, great pot there.